Hello, my name is Russell Towner, President of Lee Industries. Before we begin to discuss our new fall introductions, allow me to first acknowledge the crisis that we remain in the midst of. All of us have been impacted by this pandemic in some form or fashion. Some of you have also experienced hurricanes, flooding, and wildfires. For those of you who have suffered some measure of pain or loss, I want you to know our thoughts are with you. COVID-19 has changed for most of us the way we think about home. We used to talk about it in such a philosophical way. We have always at Lee believed in the power of design to improve people's lives. Now more than ever, the home is that place we describe as a refuge, escape, an oasis, a place of peace. Our discussion about the home has turned from a figurative one to a literal one, the home as a truly safe place. To the extent we can be your partner in providing that for your customer is a profound honor. Now, on to our fall introductions. Broadly speaking, we took a step back, looked at the world as it is today and how it's evolving, and asked ourselves the simple question, what do you really need from us? Our answer was less in sheer quantity and more focus on unique, special, detail-oriented items. Our fall introductions feel more curated, as I said, more special and unique, yet at the same time entirely consistent with who we are. Each still possesses the hallmark traits of Lee, comfortable, livable, timeless. Some may feel classic, others may lean more modern or contemporary, but none are limited entirely to a certain genre. They are adaptable and transition with ease from a stately Georgian home to a Philip Johnson inspired glass house. So without further ado, let's look at these beautiful new pieces. Marty, I'm excited to have you sit on our 8223 sofa. Um, it comes in two sizes. This is the sofa size at 92 inches. Also comes in an apartment sofa at 80 inches. The apartment sofa version is a two seat. This obviously that we're sitting on here is a three seat version. So it's really sort of inspired by one of those classic salon sofas, but we've really pared it down, cleaned it up to give it a, a really a modern feel, if you will. A uh, couple of things that I'm really excited about on this are this solid oak frame, uh, which outlines all the beautiful curves of this sofa. Um, you can finish it in anything you'd like. If you want to make it uh, contrast and sort of highlight those curves, you can. If you want to make it a little more subtle uh, and pair it with your fabric, you can, you can also do that. But tell me, how does it sit? Well, it sits great, mm -hmm. and I'm enjoying a throw pillow, mm -hmm. whereas I can tell that you don't need one, right. um, but everyone keeps throw pillows on their sofas. So Abs it's perfect. Ab absolutely. Um, I am into these little details like this French seam, which is standard on it, this piece, yeah. which I think is absolutely beautiful. Mm. I see that we've paired it with our 1760 chairs, which, is a, which was a new introduction last market. Right, it pairs nicely. Um, it does. And I love that this frame looks like it floats off the ground. It does. We put it on about an inch and a half foot, so it just lifts it up just a little bit, gives some air for it to breathe, if you will, uh, and really creates that feeling that it's, that it's floating, as you said. So um, the other thing I really love about this frame is most tight back sofas you sort of associate with not sitting as comfortably right. as, uh, as a loose back. This, we've, we've put some extra generous padding on the back, so it really receives you well. I mean, it's a really, really comfortable sofa, kind of one of the hallmarks of Lee upholstery. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it looks a lot like our 5772 chair, mm -hmm. but as you say, it's got quite a bit more padding in the back, so mm -hmm. it's much more generous, probably right. more in keeping with our 5702 yeah. in terms of the way that it sits. Right, absolutely. Well, thanks for your comments. It's a beautiful frame. We're sitting very comfortably right now on our new 2432 series. Uh, this comes in a regular length sofa at 90 inches, comes in an apartment sofa at 78 inches, and then we also have a complimentary chair and ottoman as well, which we'll talk about later. So it's really um, a nod sort of to French 50s, if you will. Um, Rennie found uh, the inspiration from this in a, a little vintage shop, and then we, uh, uh, we took our cue from that and created what, what I think is a really wonderful addition to the Lee line. 
Um, of particular note on this sofa or this uh, cap arm uh, here. It's nice, it's soft, it's outlined nicely with the welt trim. Um, there's a, a pretty nice seating depth here. Uh, the sofa is up on uh, solid wood tapered legs, which I think give it a little, a little lift. And then also we've done a really wonderful job with this. It's a tight back, even though it gives kind of the appearance of a loose back. Um, but under each one of these sections is a uh, individually pocketed coil unit. So there's a lot more give than you would expect from a tight back. Um, and so it allows you to kind of maintain that clean look, but yet not sacrifice any comfort. You know, how do you feel? No, the frame sits great. Um, I think the measurements are very similar on the inside depth anyway to the 32-32 frame that right. we have. Um, of course, this is a much more scaled down um, piece. Mm -hmm. I love that it seems to fit in that genre that we sell so well, which is that frame that sits big but doesn't take up a lot of visual space. Right. It's more of kind of right. a medium size yeah. frame. Um, no, I, I, I love it, and I love it in this Oswald silver leather, which is my favorite introduction in years in I, our leathers. I agree. If you remember, this was last market's introduction. Um, this is a exclusively colored leather for us, so you won't find it anywhere else, but at Lee, um, really uh, fits nicely uh, within our fabric lines. It mixes well there, um, and yet gives you, you still have that great character uh, within the leather as well. So really excited about this one. Yeah, overall this piece is just made up beautifully. Yeah. And I do love this tight back with the illusion of yeah. the back cushions. Right. right. Marty, going back to the chair for a minute, I'll show that to you a little later, but that's covered in Palmer flax with a contrasting welt, which really sort of sets off the whole lines of the chair. Uh, and probably should be noted, it comes welted only. This series, you cannot remove the welt. All right, good to know. Our dealers will definitely want to know that. Great, thanks. Marty, you're sitting uh, nicely here in our new 1721 swivel glider chair, uh, available as a uh, swivel only and as a stationary uh, chair as well. Uh, how do you feel? Well, I've been asking for this chair for a long time. It feels great. Um, as you know, people are watching a lot of television and spending a lot of time at home, as we've discussed. Um, and they want a higher back chair with a high back cushion, um, and this fits the bill perfectly. It sits a lot like the um, 3421, right. but gives you that glider option. Right, yep, and it's fashioned off of the 1711, but we played around a little bit with the back height and the seat depth and that, but from a style standpoint, very similar to that. Exactly. Great. What is it covered in again? Tell me. This is covered in the Faro Old Rose, and we've shown it here with an optional sheer flax flange. One of the other points about this chair is that it has a 20-inch seat height, um, which is super comfortable and um, makes it easy to get in and out of. So, great. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Here, right in front of us now, are Bobby McAlpine's newest additions to his collection with us. Uh, you've got the uh, bar and counter single stool and the bench version over here. It's the 7251 series. And really his amazing talent is on full display here. Uh, he has the ability to take what is a very, I think as you say, utilitarian piece uh, and just imbue it with such grace and beauty. Um, some of the things that I love that he's done is this 11 inch skirt that he's put on it really lowers the center of gravity uh, for a piece you find sometimes they get so leggy uh, with a regular bench seat on them, but he's done a great job with that. Graceful legs, and really what his thought behind it was is he wanted it to have enough weight to be able to hold sort of the heavy kitchen appliances and kitchen cabinetry, but enough grace and lightness to marry well with the living spaces that are often attached to those uh, big kitchens. How's it feel to sit in? Well, it is very comfortable. The pitch is just right. I love the footboard that Bobby's known for that makes it so comfortable. I love that there are no arms on this piece because it makes maneuvering in and out from behind a bar right. or right. kitchen area um, so much easier. Great. So I, I just, I, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Great. And the only other additional thing I would mention is that way he's put that nice sort of six inch gap in between the backs of the bench version, I think is really brilliant. No, it's beautiful. It's going to look great in any kitchen. Marty, we're standing here uh, next to the stunning 5430-25 daybed. 
And I talked initially uh, at the start of this video about our desire to make objects that were unique, special, uh, detail-oriented, and really I think that's, that's so well highlighted right here with this piece. It is, it's a 94-inch long day bed, uh, rooted sort of in Italianate styling, but I love what we do where we take those traditional forms that you get from being rooted in tradition and then make them ours. And uh, so I love the exaggerated arm that you see here. Uh, sort of the wider than typical day bed so you can get comfortable yourself or uh, use it as a tete-a-tete -tete, or how else could you see this used? Uh, well, lots of different ways. This is such a beautiful piece. Um, obviously, it could divide a couple of seating areas. Mm -hmm. I would love it in a master suite. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those rooms are so large um, and this is just a generous size that would work well there. Um, I could see it in front of a very large window with a beautiful view mm -hmm. um, so Absolutely. that you had seating so that it wasn't blocking the view. Um, and I can see it in lots of different fabrics, but this one is really wonderful. It is. It is beautiful. And then just sort of a note on construction on this. Um, it, because we see it being used as a room divider or out in the middle of the room, there are no zippers or seams on the outsides. There is a zipper on the underneath side. Right. Uh, so this cushion is not flippable. Exactly. So. Well, I can see this um, in a lot of homes that I've been in. Great. You know, Marty, I can't uh, think of a circumstance that doesn't call for a good pair of slipper chairs. Uh, you're sitting in the new 4298-01 chair, uh, and really for a small package, it packs in a whole lot of stuff. Um, it's really all about the curves here. We sort of have this inverted serpentine curve on the back, nice curve to the back rail. The front has a lovely concave movement across the front. Um, and then we top it off with this little mini welt that kind of mimics a box cushion on it. Really an awful lot going on. And I think you would agree it's incredibly comfortable. It is incredibly comfortable. I love the um, little round leg as well. And the arms make it really easy to pick up or the yeah. back, the way the back's curved, you can right. pick it up. Um, move it around and um, it's super comfortable. It reminds me of a little Valentine. It's got the, looking at it from this direction, it looks like a little heart-shaped seat. It's, uh, it's a great little slipper chair. I couldn't agree with you more. Now, also right here too, we've got these lovely new ottomans. Tell me, because you're an expert on numbers. Tell me the number on this ottoman. These again. are the 9540s. Okay, and again, a great little, kind of like the slipper chair idea. They just fit wherever. Um, it, you know, you can just plop them around, you can put them in a configuration of six or eight or just two and one like we, like we have here. So a nice little addition to the line. Exactly. So. And when you can never choose just one fabric, you get to choose three in yeah. this case. A absolutely. Yeah, they're great to, to pair up. Right. And then we've also made some other additions to the line too. Some things, uh, ottomans that we had in, we changed some configuration with doing a leather raw edge on again. Help me with that number one more time. Okay, so that is the 2527 ottoman and it comes in two different sizes. Great. 42 inch square and a 24 inch square. Great, and so we've done the raw edge uh, on that out of leather. And then on the larger one, you have the mitered top uh, that's done on that. Really excellent additions to the line as well. Exactly, and you can contrast stitch those. Am I right about that? You are correct, and do channel stitching around the top and down the sides as well. Exactly. So. It's a great new addition to okay. the line. Marty, this is a, uh, a really a precious, sweet little chair uh, that we've developed here. It's the 4123. Um, it's inspired by, you know, another chair that Rennie found, uh, this one at a little shop in Palm Beach, uh, and that, but again, we've, we've cleaned it up and put our own uh, interpretation to it, um, made it a little more modern feeling and really highlighted uh, the, the soft, subtle shape uh, of the chair. We affectionately refer to it as the teacup because of its uh, little teacup shape there. And just like the fine bone china created in the 18th century in England, I think it possesses just those nice delicate lines uh, that you'd expect from a little teacup. So exactly. how do you feel in it? Great, the arms are exactly the right height mm -hmm. for me. Um, and it's just a relaxing chair. It's got the depth is just right. The pitch is exactly okay. right. Um, I just think this chair could go anywhere. Right. 
and just like every swivel chair, as I'm watching you here, you can't stop, you can't stop yep, swiveling and swivel. So <laughs> exactly. great, a great That's addition to the line absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. We're really pleased to introduce this market, the U160 Outdoor Sectional Series. And we felt it was really important to address uh, the outdoor category in a meaningful way, this market, since that, uh, that area has been skyrocketing this year. We're pleased to introduce a complete modular group based off of the 1748. It is fashioned out of Indonesian teak and will be a wonderful complement to our outdoor collection. It includes an armless chair, love seat, corner unit, chaise, and ottoman, which offer a myriad of configuration possibilities. The seat cushions are attached via a Velcro strap and the backs are loose. Also complementing our outdoor introduction, we're bringing an old favorite back, the Shin Toaster, also fashioned out of Indonesian teak. We've also added the US 149601 swivel uh, to our outdoor collection there fashioned off of the 149601, but done in our outdoor construction. Hey, I'm Jan Whitson, Textile Merchandising Manager at Lee Industries. This season, we focused on rich earth and color pairings, such as slate and copper, copper and blush, mineral and stone, ochre and saddle, and a beautiful linen neutral fusion. Within these color stories, we honed in on four main categories consisting of exclusive prints, luxe textures, architectural geometrics, and Belgian linens. One of our favorite new exclusives is Artifact. I hand sketched the pattern, which was inspired by sculptured art and wood carvings that are reminiscent of the arts of ancient Africa and Egypt. It's available in two colors, pebble and river, and it's slipcover washable. Gustav is another exclusive print featuring a Venetian motif inspired by a vintage tile we found at an antique market during our travels. It's also available in two colors, meadow and mineral. Some new textures this season. Andre Natural, a fabulous chunky woven. Empress Stone, a beautiful textured stripe with such a sophisticated sheen. Jacques Cole, a luxurious heathered velvet and Adriana Silver and Steel, a plush chenille enhanced with a ruching technique which makes it three-dimensional. These textural introductions each have an authentic feel to their woven structure. Architectural repetition is the common thread woven throughout the geometric category. Eleanor is a subtle and refined ticking stripe available in three colors, saddle, sky, and stone, and it is also slipcover washable. Cliff Mineral is a menswear-inspired windowpane plaid featuring slubby woven yarns. Italica Rain is a finely woven pattern reminiscent of mosaic tile work found in historic European architecture. And Yindi Iron is another favorite, featuring a mid-scale modern geometric design. Brabant is a luxurious stonewashed Belgian linen and definitely the star of our showroom this market. We're offering it in three amazing sun-faded colors, copper, mineral, and silver. It's featured on a variety of our new introductions this season. We also have two new tape trims, kinetic silver and sonic graphite. These make a great skirt tape or a picture frame pillow accent. The kinetic pattern drew from our architectural influences, while the sonic pattern feels more fluid and organic. Another offering we're particularly excited about is five products featured in a new luxurious grow point, Tiger Camel and Tiger Gray. It's available on a throw pillow, two ottoman styles, and two occasional chairs. We love this pattern because it's reminiscent of ancient Asian artistry and is a finely woven construction. Hi, I'm Rennie Sinat, Creative Director for Lee Industries. After we finalize our fabric and upholstery selections, I immediately start to look at the showroom aesthetics as a whole. The next most important part of the process is the art curation, where I take all of our new textile intros to Melanie at Lucky Fish, and we begin to collaborate on all the art, which is customized exclusively for the Lee showroom. This market, I drew inspiration from the Egyptian and African influences, which you'll see reflected throughout the art and accessories, as well as the sun-faded colors featured throughout. 
Our new Belgian linen, Brabant, is reminiscent of the shroud linen textiles of the ancient world, and the sun-faded colors are symbolic to the desert hues. One of my favorite pieces this season is a landscape painting by one of my favorite artists, Kitty Williams, called Rift Valley. When Melanie and I started planning, I knew I wanted a large-scaled 8x8, 9x9 statement with an elephant grazing across the African desert, and I wanted it to feel as though you were actually walking across the desert, slowly coming upon the elephant. Another statement area is what we're referring to as the faces, which is a collection of chalk drawings on brown paper by an artist from New Orleans. They instantly struck me because they're unlike anything I've seen with great notes of color nodding back to the vibrant colors of the ancient world. A lot of these vivid colors were veg dyed, so they feel very authentic to the true ancient world hues with bright blues, corals, and pinks. The rest of the accessories, lighting, and rugs or what I consider to be the jewelry of the showroom, whether it be a fabulous antique or a staple piece from one of our showroom partners. Pottery lamps always add color and texture. Another one of my favorite items this market is a pair of vintage rattan lamps that I found in Palm Beach, which instantly felt like Egyptian jewelry. My favorite area in the showroom is the front entrance because it's the right amount of drama, but still calming and very serene. It's just the right amount of color so that you can easily process the emotion. It's been almost a year since we have seen many of you, and boy do we miss you. We miss your smiling faces, we miss your hugs, we miss your familiar antics, we miss your design enthusiasm. But what we miss most is you, you being a part of the Lee family. Twice a year, we welcome you into our showroom to see our vision and inspiration, to share new products, to share ideas, but more importantly, we welcome you in to visit. To ask how your family's doing, to learn more about new beginnings, to learn about your travels, and to embrace in the friendships that we have nurtured over the years. You are the key to our success. And while this year has been difficult in many ways, we see light at the end of the tunnel. It is our hope that you have been taking care of yourself and those around you. We hope that your business is growing because you have learned to pivot and look at your work with a fresh approach. And we hope that one day soon, we will be at the Lee Showroom together, gaining insight and wisdom from each other. Until then, stay safe, stay in touch, and thanks for being a part of our family.